Now at six, a historic increase for anyone with citizens property insurance. The board met today as they plan for a double digit rate hike approved by state regulators. It takes effect for new policyholders in December and will roll out for existing customers as their renewals come up. News 6's Catherine Silver looks at what it means for you and Florida's insurance market as a whole. The highest rate increase in citizens' history does not come as a surprise. An 11.5% increase for homeowners with the most common type of policies and a 12.3% increase for all personal lines. Nobody wants to pay higher insurance rates. I don't want to do that. But we are actually unsound. Citizen CEO presented the Board of Governors with the revised rates Wednesday after asking state regulators for an even higher increase this summer. As Florida's residual insurer, we should never be competing with the private market. Industry experts say the rise in rates is a sign Citizens is trying to return to a true last resort insurer. Citizens has been growing at a record pace. Mark Friedlander works this with the Insurance Information Institute. Too. What that does is increase a risk risk exposure gap potentially leading to what we commonly refer to as a hurricane tax, meaning they would fall short on the reserves to pay claims with major storm activity, which could trigger this multi-year surcharge for all Florida consumers to pay. Friedlander says the rate increase is a step towards closing the risk gap, but it is still not enough. Citizens has more than one million policyholders, the most of any carrier in Florida. You've heard us say that we thought we were going to end the year with about 1.5 to 1.7 million policies. Now we're forecasting that figure to be around 1.3. The CEO says they hope to push more of those policyholders to the private market. Takeout offers were recently sent to 300,000 customers, despite the effort to depopulate. I'm paying, I think it's about 34, 3,500 a year for citizens. The people News 6 spoke to say they are choosing to stay with citizens rather than pay a much higher premium. They want like 6,700. That's a substantial difference. Yeah, it's almost double. There are some positive signs, according to Friedlander. Private insurers are taking part in the depopulation program. That wasn't always the case. And state regulators approved five new companies to write policies in Florida, which means consumers will have more choices. I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.